My name is Sergio Catalani. I am a Senior Vice President of Exploration for Line One Metals. My principal responsibility is to look after and direct all of the exploration related to the Tubatu project in Fiji. Mineral exploration geologist uh, for over 35 years, uh, started out with a couple of majors, uh, notably uh, Kaminko. In 2008, I joined Hecla in Vancouver, and that was kind of a, the start of my career in precious metal exploration. The Tubatu project is an absolutely fascinating project. Geologically speaking, Fiji is sitting on one of the rare tectonic boundaries where these uh, large alkaline systems clearly have developed. There's a number of uh, world-class alkaline gold systems uh, on that belt. An alkaline gold system is essentially a variant of epithermal gold systems. Mineralization at Tuvatu consists of a different series of uh, vein sets oriented in different directions. And so it's a fairly complex system to understand and therefore requires uh, quite close space drilling. The exploration strategy at Tuvatu is essentially three-pronged. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're doing resource upgrade and resource expansion through a considerable amount of infill drilling. We just completed the very last hole in the first phase infill drill program. We've completed 8,000 meters of drilling on that part of the resource that is expected to go into production in the early phase. We'll be starting a second phase of infill drill program an additional 8,000 meters on a different part of the ore body, but again, in that part of the resource that is expected to go into production in the first three years. Second pillar of our exploration strategy is deep exploration for uh, high-grade feeder zones. So we're actually spending quite a bit of time on better understanding the high-grade feeders that underlie the current resource. Mid-2020 was a considerable turnaround for the company in that they put the first hole in a high-grade feeder zone and made a significant discovery. Since then, we've put at least another dozen holes in that zone, and we're now adding considerably to the overall resource. Third pillar in the exploration strategy is to test a lot of the regional targets that are distributed throughout the Navalawa caldera, which is a six or seven kilometer diameter caldera. But within that caldera, there are many, many other occurrences that are essentially poorly or essentially untested and so we will be uh, systematically uh, testing all of these other targets in the next several years. The current resource uh, goes back to data from no later than 2018. So since then, we've completed at least another 38,000 meters of drilling. We're currently drilling at a rate of 2,500 meters a month. So by the time 2022 comes to an end, uh, we will have uh, at least a, an additional 65,000 to 70,000 meters of drilling in addition to the existing resource. Clearly, we'll have to do a resource update. In my opinion, it will grow by at least 50%, and potentially the grade will go up as well, given some of the results that we've had in the info programs. I fully expect that this deposit will produce for at least a decade uh, once we get going and uh, will be a significant uh, money maker for the company. We have the cash to do it and we have the expertise uh, to do it right.